The attendant PIR measures 5 meters either side of the control. The PIR lens has a sensing spread left to right of the attendant of around 60 degrees either side of the central line and 50 degrees either side of the central line top to bottom. If wall mounting the attendant, position at shoulder height. The PIR will scan 10 to 15 meters across the room. You must wall mount the unit if you want to use the attendant's temperature settings. The remote control must be removed so that the occupant can't make any temperature adjustments, so they need to be able to access the buttons on the attendant so they can still manually turn the air conditioner on and off. If ceiling mounting the attendant, ensure that switch 7 is set to on for automatic restart and make sure that the infrared transmitters on the bottom of the case are facing the air conditioner. For battery operation, fit two C-cell batteries. For mains operation, installation must be carried out by a qualified engineer. Connect the supplied mains adapter cable to ground and 5 volts on CN1 inside the attendant. Safely connect the other end to the main supply. There will be 10 beeps confirming that the power supply has been correctly installed. Turn the air conditioner on. Set the remote control with the required settings for temperature, heating, cooling, fan speed and oscillation. Turn the air conditioner off. Set switch 8 to on for test mode. Press and hold the on and off buttons on the attendant together. There is an immediate short beep. Continue to hold both buttons down for a further 5 seconds until there is another beep. The attendant is now in teach mode. Immediately, point the remote control at the dome of the attendant and press the on button on the remote control. Then press the off button. There will be three short bleeps to confirm that the infrared commands have been received and programming is complete. In addition to the on and off commands, the information shown on the screen of the remote control is also programmed into the attendant, including the temperature above or below which depending on whether in heating or cooling mode, the attendant will not operate. The remote control can then be removed to prevent occupants from making any adjustments. If the remote control is to remain present so that occupants can adjust the temperature, the program temperature settings will be overridden but will remain as a default after a room occupancy restart. Prior to fixing, Hold the attendant in your chosen mounting location in line of sight of the air conditioner. Press the on button on the attendant and the air conditioner will turn on. Repeat with the off button. Turn the air conditioner on, fix the attendant to the wall, ensure you are not within range of the PIR and wait 15 seconds. The signal to turn the air conditioner off will be sent. Testing is now complete. Set switch 8 to off for normal operation. There are 8 dip switches used to configure the attendant for different operations. Switches 1 to 6 are for programming the setback mode if required. That means that instead of turning the air conditioner off when the occupant has left, it maintains the temperature in a 4 degree dead band until they return. Set switch 6 to on, then switches 1 to 5 according to your temperature requirements. Refer to the manual for full instructions on how to set this operation. If you don't want to use the setback mode, make sure that switch 6 is off. Switches 1 to 5 will then be deactivated. Switch 7 controls how you want the air conditioner to start when occupants return. In the on position, the air conditioner will start automatically when occupancy is sensed. This switch must be set to on if you're wanting to use the setback mode or if you're mounting the control on the ceiling. In the off position, the air conditioner is manually turned on by the occupant using the button on the attendant. It can also be manually turned off. Switch 8 is for test mode and normal operation. In the on position, the attendant is in test mode. This means there is only a 15 second time delay between the last movement and the signal to turn off. 
Once testing is complete, switch 8 can be moved to the off position for normal operation, which means there is now a 15 minute time delay. Setup of the attendant is now complete.